Welcome to the Magic Online Championship Series Recap. I'm Rashad Miller and I'll be going over the highlights of the Season 10 Championship. Season 10 was held September 12th to October 10th. The championship was held on October 13th. Players needed 15 qualifier points which were awarded for high finishes on Magic Online events to play in the championship. 459 players battled it out and returned to Ravnica Sealed Deck and the top 8 players then drafted RTR to declare the champion. Arsenal Munch finished in first place and drafted an Azorius deck with a few key green cards. One Step Behind finished in second place and drafted a Selesnya mid-range deck. Yoon 2 finished third and drafted an Izzet deck with a little splash of white. Pat Z finished fourth and drafted Selesnya with a blue splash. Dark Kitten finished fifth and was yet another Selesnya drafter. Straka 3 finished in sixth place and drafted Is It Aggro. Found Omega finished seventh place and drafted Rakdos Aggro. And Imbu finished in eighth place and drafted Golgari with a splash of red. Let's get right to the top eight. Quarterfinals, Arsenal Munch versus Embu. Game one, Embu came out of the gates fast with Grim Roustabout and Dead Revelers. Arsenal Munch was able to stabilize with a few bounce spells followed by Sphinx of the Chimes and Horn Collars Chat. When Embu looked to have rebuilt the board, an overloaded Bluster Squall cleared the way for Arsenal Munch to take the first game. Game 2, Embu came out even faster, bringing Arsenal Munch down to one life by turn 6. But it was Bluster Squall again that bought Arsenal Munch the time needed to find Jace, Architect of Thought. The two activations from Jace found Arsenal Munch, the cards needed to deal with Embu's Desecration Demon, and to win the game shortly thereafter. Arsenal Munch won the match. Pat Z vs Dark Kitten Game 1, the board got reasonably cluttered with creatures in the way that Selesnya mirror matches do. Just as Dark Kitten started to creep ahead, Supreme Verdict, thanks to Pat C's blue splash, wiped the board clean. Pat C followed up with the Warefaring Temple and Collective Blessing, while Dark Kitten didn't add any more creatures to the board. Pat C won Game 1. Game 2, both players began this game with the familiar collection of Selesnya creatures stalling the board. Growing ranks from Dark Kitten threatened to slowly break the stall if Patsy didn't find an answer. No supreme verdict from Patsy this game, but there was a collective blessing from Dark Kitten this time to quickly end the game. Game 3 started out very creature-like for both players. The small creatures Dark Kitten played were quickly outclassed by Skymark Rock with a Knightly Valor. Dark Kitten tried to race with Risen Sanctuary, but a couple of chump blocks and a Tristani's Judgment sealed the deal for Patsy. Patsy won the match. One Step Behind versus Found Omega Game 1, One Step Behind put Found Omega in a defensive position early with the slightly bigger Selesnya creatures and giant growth. Found Omega was even forced to play defense with Chaos Amps to preserve his life total. When Found Omega did decide to mount offense with the unleashed spawn of Rick's Mata, Chorus of Might punished that decision and took the game for One Step Behind. Game 2, Found Omega didn't have any problems getting the Rakdos aggro plan rolling in the first few turns, but one step behind's larger creatures eventually kept the small red and black critters at bay. Things looked good for Found Omega once Chaos Egg came down, but one step behind found Call of the Conclave and was able to populate and repopulate the Centaur while dealing with Found Omega's threats. The Centaur army won the match for one step behind. Yoon 2 vs Straka 3 Game 1, Straka 3 got an early life lead in this Is It Mirror with Frostburn Weird and a pair of Rakdos Shred Freaks. Yuno 2 was able to stabilize with Hover Barrier and Goblin Rally. The white splash from Yuno 2 then took over the game as Righteous Authority made a Goblin token too big and drew too many cards for Straka 3 to overcome. Yuno 2 won Game 1. Game 2, Straka 3 had another aggressive start and dropped Yuno 2 down to 8 life in the early turns. An overloaded Street Spasm wiped the board for Yuno 2. That didn't stop Straka 3 from keeping on the pressure, but a couple of clutch counter spells followed by Skyline Predator and Asperia Skywatch stole Game 2. Yuno 2 won the match. Semi-Finals Arsenal Munch vs Pat Z 
Game 1, Arsenal Munch spent most of the game holding off Pat Z's Wayfaring Temple while slowly chipping away with Soul Sworn Spirit. Pat Z's Wayfaring Temple got bigger and bigger as Arsenal Munch continued to lose chump blockers, but then Bluster Squall gave Arsenal Munch the extra turn needed to attack Pat Z for the win. Game 2, Arsenal Munch was able to get Pat Z down to 8 life thanks to an early centaur and some timely detain, but Pat Z was able to stop their attacks with Sphinx of the Chimes. Arsenal Munch added a couple of Rhino tokens and a Spirit Skywatch to the battlefield, and a castle on Pat Z's Risen Sanctuary allowed for an Alpha Strike to win the game. Arsenal Munch won the match. One Step Behind versus Yoon 2 Game 1, Yoon 2 started on the hind foot as One Step Behind came rushing out of the gates with 2 drop after 2 drop. After a few trades and counter spells, Yuno 2 stabilized with Niv Mizzet, Draco Genius. Without any good attacks and with forces dwindling, One Step Behind fell to Yuno 2's Draco Genius. Game 2, One Step Behind had a pretty good start with Drudge Beetle and Centaur Healer, while Yuno 2 stumbled on the third land drop. An end of turn Eyes in the Skies, followed by Nightly Valor, was enough to get the concession. Game 3, defense again was the game plan for Yuno 2 as Hover Barrier and Goblin Rally tokens defended against one step behind's aggression. A Street Spasm cleared the ground for Yuno 2, but the bird tokens for one step behind remained. A scavenged Drudge Beetle on a bird token was enough to finish the job. One step behind won the match. And that brings us to the finals of the Magic Online Championship Series Season 10 Championship. Arsenal Munch versus One Step Behind. Game 1. Both players start the game with some early plays. Both of these decks being Selesnya based could lean towards a creature stall. Arsenal Mush threatens to break the stall first with Soul Sworn Spirit. Void Wielder helps keep one step behind's forces at bay. Vassal Soul looks to increase the clock for Arsenal Mush. One Step Behind uses his Asorius Arresters to force through some damage. Seems as if One Step Behind wants to try to race. Arsenal Munch adds Hussar Patrol to continue to clog the ground. Scavenge Drudge Beetle on the bird token makes a 3-3 air blocker for One Step Behind. Tristani's Judgment takes care of the blocker and this attack brings One Step Behind to 4. No answer for the two evasive creatures means Arsenal Munch takes Game 1. Game 2 First play of this game is Stone Fair Crocodile from One Step Behind. Vassal Soul for Arsenal Munch. Azorius Arrester lets One Step Behind begin his offense. Armory Guard halts the forces from attacking Arsenal Munch. One Step Behind adds a few more creatures to hopefully overwhelm the defense. Void Wielder keeps the creature count low for One Step Behind and gives Arsenal Munch another blocker. Jace Architect of Thought is going to slow this game down to a halt with his plus one ability. Eyes in the Skies for One Step Behind stops the Vassal Soul from attacking for now. Rogue's Passage on One Step Behind's Crocodile helps keep Arsenal Munch's Jace under control. Arsenal Munch switches to the minus two ability of Jace to draw some cards. An overloaded Bluster Squall stops One Step Behind from attacking this turn. Vassal Soul attacks and Sphinx of the Chimes joins Arsenal Munch's forces. The Rogue Passage Crocodile combo still chipping away at Jace for One Step Behind. Arsenal Munch tries to force through some damage with the Tame and a big attack, but Druid's Deliverance saves One Step Behind from losing life. Jace finally goes down, and Arrester keeps Sphinx home for a turn. An attack clears out a bunch of flying creatures, only Vassal Soul and a lone bird token remain after combat. Castle counters Vidugazi Guild Mage, and then Stonefell Crocodile turns its attention to Arsenal Munch's life total. An arrest takes out the lone flying blocker for one step behind, and the two flyers from Arsenal Munch makes this a two turn clock. One step behind has to find an answer, and does it. There's the concession, and Arsenal Munch wins the match. And we have a champion. Congratulations to Arsenal Munch, Season 10 champion. Now, if you'd like to see more coverage from this or any other Magic Online tournament, visit www.mtgonline.com. Thanks for watching the Magic Online Championship Series recap with me, Rashad Miller, and I'll see you next time for Season 11.